Uh, hello, this will be a demonstration of Proposition 7 from Book 5 of Euclid's Elements, which says that equal magnitudes have to the same magnitude, the same ratio, and also the same magnitude has to equal magnitudes, the same ratio. What we're going to be given is we're going to be given two equal magnitudes, A and B, so that A is equal to B, and some third magnitude, C. And what we're going to prove is both that as A is to C, so B is to C, and also that as C is to A, so C is to B, right? So we have equal magnitudes A and B having the same ratio to the same magnitude C, and the same magnitude C has to the equal magnitudes A and B the same ratio. We're going to begin by taking equal multiples D and E of A and B respectively, and we're going to take of C some multiple F. It doesn't matter what the value of this multiple is. Now, D and E being equal multiples of A and B, right, we made them that way in the first step, and also being given that A is equal to B, we know that D must be equal to E, because equal multiples of equals are equals as well. Um, we saw this previously in a particular case where we had doubles of equals uh, being equal, but Euclid here is invoking the more general principle that um, equal multiples of equals are also equal, so D is equal to E. Now, D being equal to E, whatever relation that D has to F will be the same relation that E has to F, so that if D is greater than F, E will also be greater than F. If D is equal to F, then E will also be equal to F. And finally, if D be less than F, then E is also going to be less than F. That's a simple property of magnitudes, that equal magnitudes have the same relation to the same magnitude. Now, this relation being so, and knowing that D and E are equal multiples of A and B, and F being some multiple of C, we can invoke definition 5-5, five, five, the definition of proportionality, to say that because the equal multiples D and E have this relation to the, equal multi or to the multiple F, we can say that as A is to C, so B is to C, right? because we have equal multiples of the first and third A and B having the same relation to the equal multiple of the second and fourth, namely um, of C and C, right, C is obviously equal to itself. So, um, so yeah, so we have um, a relation of equal multiples that satisfies definition 5-5, five, five. so we can say that as A is to C, so B is to C. Now, again, knowing that D is equal to E, right, we had shown that in the second step um, F has to have the same relation to D that it has to E. So that if F is greater than D, F is also greater than E. If F is equal to D, then F is also equal to E. And if F be less than D, then F is less than E. Again, this is a property of magnitudes. And again, this is a situation of the equal multiples of C, A, and B respectively, which means that we can invoke definition 5-5 five, five to say that because F has the same relation to D that it has to E, we can say that as C is to A, so C is to B. Now, this is all that we set out to prove, which means we are done with the proposition, therefore, etc. Q, E, D. Now, this proposition also has a porism appended to it that states that if magnitudes be proportional, they will be proportional um, invertendo. They'll be proportional inversely. So it looks something like, um, it's like 2 is to 3, just as 4 is to 6 which means that 3 is to 2 just as 6 is to 4, right? And that's obviously true. So this porism is certainly a true statement. Where it's derived from the proposition, I'm not exactly sure. I don't think it's placed rightly here. I think this should be something that's proven on its own because it doesn't, you know, follow obviously from proposition 5-7. But nonetheless, it is true, and you're going to see it used quite a lot. Um, you're also going to see the proposition itself used quite a lot, especially within book six, which is the next book. So this is a very important proposition to keep in mind. It's one that you should know like the back of your hand. So, you know, remember it. <laughs> that being all I have to say about this proposition, I'm gonna end the video here and move on to 5.8.